Houdini is really really good at what it does but it's not really meant to be used as a general purpose 3D application. For that reason, creating an entire animated film in Houdini would be a nightmare. Even basic stuff like modeling or character animation are difficult to achieve in Houdini because the entire program is designed around giving you deep control rather than letting you work quickly. In other words, you get a complete manual software at your disposal. Houdini's main stronghold revolves around hair, cloth, particles and fluid simulation. If you need to generate anything procedurally, I personally think Houdini is the best guy for such tasks. Many people say Houdini is very difficult to sail through but after riding through the software for a while, what I can say about this is 1. The software gives you the power to manually control everything within it. Most people aren't used to that, right? Other products like 3ds Max or Blender offers pre-made solutions where the software works with you throughout your entire project. One software that makes this so obvious is Cinema 4D. Most softwares are even incorporating some type of AI tools in their products just to help ease things out for you and it's great in some ways because they help you complete projects quicker with less struggle. Now that is what you don't get working in Houdini and look having that complete manual control at your disposal is what makes Houdini super powerful because with that type of control anything you can imagine is possible. The second reason why most people see Houdini to be a difficult software is because Houdini is super broad such that you might use the software your entire life and still not touch some of the functionalities within the software. There are reasons to that but that's not the point I'm trying to make here. The number three reason has to do with coding in Houdini. The coding aspect of Houdini is what really makes the difference and most people wouldn't want to get into coding just because of Houdini, right? It's too much work but look, this is what makes the difference between what you call the Hollywood type VFX or CGI and your homemade VFX. Houdini runs beast mode if you can code. Coding in Houdini allows you to solve certain major problems or highly time consuming tasks in ways you would have never thought it possible. It's difficult and boring at the early stages and looks poorly artistic. However, reaching the simplicity of the code, getting used to it and understanding the way it works will unleash the ultimate creativity within you. So in a nutshell, Houdini can be said to be difficult and time consuming if you can't code but less time consuming, easy to work with and complete projects within shorter periods if you can code. This is Houdini in a nutshell. But you don't necessarily have to know coding to begin using Houdini as a beginner. Every weird stuff you see in Houdini are just bunch of tools at your disposal which would make your work easier if you know how to use them. I always ask myself why Houdini isn't welcoming and not even 1% friendly. From user interface to the terms used and features, it's a bold decision one has to take to dive into Houdini because then you ask yourself why can't I just make compromises by settling on Cinema 4D or 3D's Max for simulation rather than Houdini, right? I give you a year or two, three hours a day of consistent practice within Houdini and you will thank me later, that is if you subscribe to the channel. Now let's talk about Houdini and the other three types of Houdini. Like many high-end tools for 3D and VFX, Houdini has a lot of versions to choose. SideFX provides you with three Houdini commercial versions. The other two are free and for educational purposes which means you wouldn't be making money with it just for practice and some portfolios. The two versions are Houdini Education and Houdini Apprentice. Now I'm going to be taking them one by one, explaining them in order for people who want to get into Houdini know which one might be suitable for them. Let's begin with Houdini Apprentice. Houdini Apprentice is a free version to Houdini FX. Houdini FX is the complete Houdini. This version of Houdini is most preferred among students, beginning freelance artists and hobbyists. Now Houdini offers this version just to enable upcoming artists 1. Get familiar with Houdini 2. Develop their skills 3. Work on your own personal projects. With Houdini Apprentice, you get access to virtually 
all the features of the complete high-priced Houdini FS, but there are some downsides to using the Apprentice version. After looking through the Apprentice critically, I felt side effects didn't feel okay offering a free version to Houdini because the limitations are just backwards and crazy. I mean, other than using Apprentice solely because you want to hop on Houdini someday, I don't think there's any better reason for me to use Apprentice. There are better options out there you can look into. Now let's check out some of the downsides to using Apprentice. 1. Non-commercial projects, which means you aren't allowed to use it on projects that fetches money. 2. Houdini Apprentice cannot be used in the same pipeline as commercial version of the Houdini. This is because the Apprentice version has different import and export characteristics that doesn't match with the commercial version of Houdini and for that reason, it wouldn't function in a pipeline. The next downside would be digital assets created in Apprentice cannot be used with Houdini Engine or Houdini Engine Indie because Houdini Apprentice uses its own file format for saving scenes and assets. 5. Houdini Apprentice is restricted to 1280 by 720 when rendering. Also, file formats other than HIPNC, HDANC, USDNC, and PICNC are word marked. So, in a nutshell, you get a 720p word mark project. This is weird, right? Last on the list would be Houdini Apprentice does not work with third party renderers. This is a huge downside. If you are a newbie using Apprentice right now, good luck. Now let's talk about Houdini Indie. Houdini Indie is similar to Houdini Apprentice but this time less limitations. Indie has all the features of the complete commercial Houdini FX, basically a cheap FX lenses that starts at the annual fee of 269, let's just say 300 USD. Commercial usage of Houdini Indie is limited to the following. The annual gross revenue of commercial entities and contracting entities should not exceed 100,000 USD, which means Houdini Indie users shouldn't be making more than 100,000 annually. The company doesn't like that. Your success is their loss and they aren't happy with that, so yeah. Commercial entities and contracting entities can purchase a maximum of 3 Houdini Indie and 3 Houdini Engine Lenses or Mantra. Mantra is the render engine for Houdini. You can actually use third party renders within the Indie version, no problem at all. Houdini Indie cannot be used in the same pipeline as commercial version of Houdini. It wouldn't work because Houdini Indie uses its own file format for saving scenes and assets. Therefore, placing it within a pipeline would be a problem since its file format isn't supported by any other program. The other limitation, well, I don't think this is really a limitation. Houdini Indie can only render up to 4K, um, 4096 by 4096 animations. This is good for the majority of users except those who want 6K and upwards renders. Okay, let's talk about Houdini Core. Houdini Core is a low-cost solution compared to Houdini FX. Core supports all file formats, work with third-party render engines, and have unlimited mantra lanterns. Again, mantra in Houdini is actually a name given to their render engine. Core is also a great tool for procedural modeling and animation. However, you don't get all the simulation aspects of FX like crowds, particles, wires, fluids, and it can only do simple simulation of pyro FX, rigid bodies, and vellum cloth. Now, you can open and render a scene created within FX license using Core, but cannot edit, use, or cache geo from DOPNet. Now, these terms are something you would get used to as you get into Houdini. If you have no idea what they mean, you can just Google them and you would get a better detailed information on them. Price for node locked workstation license starts at 1009, let's just say 2000 USD and has an annual plan of 1000 USD. Now let's talk about the main Houdini, which is Houdini FX. Houdini FX has everything you need. This is the version for large studios. Should I even be talking about this? I mean, from modeling, fluid to dynamic simulations, crowd, etc. supports all file formats and can work with third-party renderers. It's the complete version 
of Houdini. Moreover, if you don't use third party renders, you can get unlimited license of Mantra, Houdini's built in renders. Now, that will help you to make use of a dedicated render farm. That's the positive side of using the Houdini Mantra. Of course, it's price is the highest for a workstation node locked license you must pay around 4400 to 5000 usd it can be upgraded annually for 2400 there about to 3000 usd there are also floating licenses available for 6000 to 7000 let's just say 7000 usd there about there is no need explaining too much because i did most of the explanation in the beginning of this video okay if you love this video then a sub to my channel will be Great.